hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to use a dynamic template on SendGrid if you haven't set up a SendGrid email ever before there's an excellent Adalo tutorial I'll put in the description so if you've already done that and now you're looking to use SendGrid templates then this tutorial is for you so I've set up a screen here with a basic form um, and on submit it's going to create this email and send the data to SendGrid okay um, which you should already be at this point I think um, so let's go on the custom action and start looking through things you should already have something like this all set up um, to have done a basic email already but now maybe you're trying to figure out how do I use the templates on SendGrid so um, first let's talk about the JSON body um, so I've grabbed this um, uh, copy and pasted uh, somewhere from the internet and um, if you've already tried to do the custom uh, templates, the dynamic templates um, what we really need in our JSON body is this we need this dynamic template data and then inside there we can have the fields which we can then use in, um, in SendGrid okay so um, if it's not inside this dynamic template data area we're not going to be able to use it in the templates so uh, let's quickly do this we're going to have a subject and a body and let's fill that with some magic text uh, our subject and our body okay we're going to want our two email um, let's do it here and name test that's okay um, the reply to again I'm going to just put my own email okay and that template ID is something we are going to need to fill in so let's head over to um, SendGrid actually before we do that I want to say one thing um, when you um, put your JSON in here I recommend a tool like this jsonformatter.curiousconcept.com you put your JSON into here press process and then copy and paste it out of there that's going to get rid of any errors you come across which happens often it's really easy to make a mistake so a tool like this makes your life easier let's go to SendGrid so you want to make a template um, so let's go to design library um, and I, I want a template all right and let's get uh, let's use this first one um, so let's duplicate this a template and we're going to use the code editor okay um, so um, the way we use this um, firstly the subject let's talk about that now the subject um, you edit over here which might seem odd okay it's in the settings bar and then you use these double curly brackets subject okay and then that is going to give us the dynamic subject from our JSON bear in mind what I put in curly brackets there matches what I've got here okay so this is um, this is what SendGrid will be looking for when we do those curly brackets something called subject that we've sent in the JSON okay so we've got our subject done um, and now we've got all this text down here okay and when I click on it on the template it's going to the appropriate bit of code um, so um, I just want to really simply show you um, how we do this so let's just take part of that text and in there we're gonna throw with the curly brackets the body okay again that body is corresponding to this word here body um, not our magic text corresponds to this um, so I put in the body there nothing's going to show up because it doesn't have any of the dynamic data right now and let's just get rid of the other text in here so it doesn't look so strange okay um, so now we've got this uh, template 
but we should have our own subject. Again, it's empty up here because it will be waiting for this dynamic data in the curly brackets. And again, we're going to have some text here coming from that body tag, which right now we can't see. So let's press save on this template. Um, now the other thing we need to do is get the template ID. So let's go here to dynamic um, templates. Okay, and create dynamic template. Um, test email dynamic create. Okay, and there we've got a template ID. Uh, and we're going to need to put that template ID into our JSON body. Okay, so that was at the bottom here. We've got template ID. Um, and we're going to add version and use this um, duplicate we made and edited. Okay, um, and we want it on the code editor. and let's just make sure it's all the same. Yeah, that's what we just built. Um, so in my first step, I went straight to the de design editor. Uh, we didn't necessarily have to do it that way around. Um, okay, so I want to save this. Uh, we got that template ID, we put it in our JSON, and um, I think this might be ready to run a test. Let me just make sure I've got some example data body message body okay for the two email I'm going to just um, yeah I'll keep that the same okay let's run the test and it says successful I'm going to head to Gmail and just check that came through and let's see what we see Alright, so um, I find secret emails often end up in your promotions folder on Gmail. Let's have a look. Um, Alright, so we've got the email through. It's the correct template. Um, and our subject has populated. Um, and our message body has populated. That was the example data. So everything has worked exactly as we wanted it to. So I'm going to save that custom action. Uh, and now I'm just going to try it on the previewer. Okay, subject. Um, testing. Send grid. Dynamic templates. Um, in the body. Um, this email is to test dynamic templates on send grid. Let's create an email. Okay, um, hopefully that is sent now. Let's have a look. If we go over to inbox. There we go. <laughs> it's um yeah all working great. Um, took me a while to figure it out. There's not, not many good guides out there. So I thought I'd make you guys a video showing how I did it. It's not really hard. You're just going to get stumped on some really trivial stuff. So remember, if you're not sure on the setup, there's a link in the description. Um, and I'll pop that JSON into the description. Make sure you, um, you change the JSON package to what I've put, uh, all this email, the test, set it up as you like and remember anything you want to use in your template in those curly brackets needs to be in this dynamic template data section. Okay, I hope that is helpful to you all. Thank you guys and see you next time.